Hello Pisces, welcome to your tarot reading. My name is Isabel. Today we're going to be discussing what you can expect in love for the month of May 2018. Now if you haven't already subscribed to this YouTube channel then you can do so by clicking the subscribe button and if you would like a tarot reading you can get one at the tarotempress.com. Now I've already laid out your tarot card so we can begin. The first tarot card that I have for you is whether love is coming towards you. I have the Queen of Pentacles tarot card with the Five of Pentacles tarot card indicating that you are open and receptive towards finding love with an individual. However, you could be going through a very difficult time right now in which you are actually neglecting yourself and not being true to yourself. This is a time in which you need to show yourself more love, care and affection. You need to be true to who you are as an individual. You need to allow yourself to be open to finding love during this period. The next tarot cards that I have for you is whether your new lover is your soulmate. We have the lover's tarot card, the devil tarot card, sorry, with a two of swords tarot card indicating to me that this person that you are potentially going to have a relationship with you has some elements that make you concerned. Now, they could be a little bit possessive, they could be jealous, they could be the type of person that is very controlling as well, and that's making you feel conflicted. You don't know whether this individual is your soulmate or not. So they have given you some red flags and you are aware of their uh, you know, nature and who they are as an individual. For some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Capricorn individual. For others, you could be dealing with an air sign. The next tarot card I have for you is, will the relationship have happiness? We have the Knight of Swords with the Six of Cups tarot card, indicating that you could be thinking about a past lover, a past relationship that you had. It could be with a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius individual. Now, the Six of Cups is suggesting that you are looking back at that relationship, or you are thinking nostalgically about a past relationship that you were in. In terms of whether it will have happiness, it's still to be determined. But let's move on to the next tarot card. Will there be commitment? We have the Knight, the Queen of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles tarot card, indicating that for some of you, commitment is not going to be on the horizon with this individual. Some of you are going to leave the situation being single and independent. You're going to be more concerned about your own needs. Is marriage a possibility? We have the Ten of Swords and the Five of Wands. If you're dealing with an individual right now in which you don't know whether it's going to result in marriage or not, just know that it's not going to result in marriage for some of you guys. And this could be due to the fact that there's a lot of differences of opinions. The two of you could have a lot of heated exchanges. There could be a lot of, uh, you know, um, situations in which the two of you are incompatible and have a lot of arguments. And it's not going to result in marriage for the two of you guys. Now, let's move on to the next question. Will the relationship last? We have the Ace of Swords with the Seven of Wands. I feel like there could be the possibility that you have a breakthrough here, but you're going to have to fight a lot to maintain your position with this relationship in which you are thinking whether or not they are your soulmate or not. Because I feel like right now you're involved with someone who might not be your soulmate. And even though you might try to talk things over, someone keeps getting defensive. They keep trying to maintain their position. They're not willing to budge or give you an opportunity to communicate what you need to get through to them. Finally, what can be done for you to find love? We have the Four of Wands and we have the Three of Cups. It's indicating that you need to go out there. You need to uh, attend social events. You need to uh, go out with your girlfriends, you know. And that's when you're going to have an opportunity to meet someone new, someone that's going to be interested in having a relationship with you. The Four of Wands carries a very positive energy. It's telling me that if you actually go out and you attend uh, a few events and you make yourself known and people become aware of who you are, then someone's going to approach you and you are going to have happiness in terms of finding someone. So the Three of Cups is also indicating success and victory celebrations. Four of Wands is also success celebrations. So overall, it's telling me for you to find love, you have to put yourself in the right place to be seen by someone that is going to offer you something stable. Overall, if you're wondering that the current person uh, that you are with, if you have red flags, for example, because this is a general tarot card reading, and you have reason to question whether they really have your interest at heart, then just know 
that if you have doubts or you see red flags, then it's most likely that this individual is not your soulmate and it's not going to result in a permanent, solid relationship. And in order for you to have that, you have to get out there, you have to socialize, you have to be in the public's eye, and uh, ultimately you will have success in finding your soulmate. So I hope you enjoyed your tarot card reading. If you would like a personal tarot card reading, you can get one at the tarotempress.com. Remember to subscribe and to like this video. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.